All right, Dave, I know we've been getting some rain this morning, but I think we can all say it's we're pretty fortunate. It hasn't been very cold. Yeah, if we were about five degrees colder, we'd have a uh, ice storm unfolding across central Iowa yeah. right now. Uh, we would have power outages, power lines down. Yeah, uh, it would be a disaster. Yeah, but luckily, yeah. we're just having wet roads out there this morning. Uh, that doesn't mean to take extra time, obviously. Yeah, I-235 had some ponding, so be careful of hydroplaning this mm -hmm. morning. I mean, this is a, a summer like type rainfall in terms of intensity. Uh, falling out there right now. Temperatures uh, four degrees above freezing in Des Moines. We see our West Des Moines tower camera is uh, shaking around a little bit. It's going to sustain winds out of the east between 20 and 25 miles per hour. Across the state, temperatures generally above 32, except in far eastern Iowa and far northeastern Iowa, where they're a lot closer uh, to that freezing mark. Southeast winds right around 20 miles per hour. They'll gust to 45 or 50 later on today. Winter weather advisory still in effect for north central and northwestern Iowa. Those purple shaded, those dark purple shaded counties, that is an ice storm warning. We saw a quarter of an inch of ice in some places in O'Brien County. I think we saw two tenths uh, near Okaboji, uh, but luckily temperatures have risen uh, above freezing. There's that wind advisory in effect until 9 o'clock tonight for much of the state. Gusts up to 45 or 50 miles per hour expected. Here's that live look at the radar. Still very heavy rain ongoing in Monroe and Appanoose County. Uh, we're probably seeing three quarters of an inch per hour rainfall rates. In the metro, we kind of got a break from the rain about 45 minutes to an hour ago, uh, but more rain pushing up and down I-35 right now down into Indianola. Heavy rain, ponding, maybe some flooding on the roadways this morning. Uh, still rainy and windy heading into the afternoon. Temps will actually warm up a little bit heading into the evening as the rain does taper off. Moderate rain off and on expected throughout the morning hours. Winds pick up out of the east southeast. They'll be sustained maybe close to 30 miles per hour uh, later on today. A bit of a lull in the precipitation maybe later this afternoon before another last line of rain pushes through later on today. We'll have to watch and see maybe some thunder showers are possible, maybe a couple funnel clouds or two possible as well, just because of how strong the southeast wind will be later on today. Gusts will get to around 40 miles per hour, non thunder shower wind gusts. Gusts within those thunder showers could get close to 55 miles per hour, close to severe limits. Uh, the winds will subside later on this evening. All right, let's pick it up from this evening, heading into tomorrow morning. More clear skies, maybe, maybe a little bit of sunshine uh, for the early part of the day on Wednesday. We haven't seen any sun in almost a week now. Uh, more snow arrives, believe it or not, yeah, snow arrives Wednesday evening into the overnight hours. Just some scattered snow showers, especially after midnight on Thursday. And then off and on snow showers, especially north of US 20 on Thursday afternoon, dusting to around an inch in Des Moines, an inch to maybe up to three inches in isolated spots north of US 20. We'll keep an eye on that as we get closer, uh, of course. Still expecting around an inch of rain across the really across the state, really, as the system continues throughout the day. At least we're not dealing with a blizzard as parts of Nebraska and the Dakotas will see a foot or two of more of snowfall. Holt Plumbing Heating 10 day forecast. The wind subsides tomorrow. It's back Thursday, Friday, Saturday, often on snow showers Thursday into early Friday. And oh my golly, Shanu, look at next week. We're going to have our first lows below zero. Yeah, I'm seeing some snowflakes there, Dave Downey. Uh, yeah, I, I'm, I think our chances of a white Christmas this year is as good as it's been in a, a long time. All right, everybody <laughs> brace for that. 640.